a china box. But it's actually called a cacciatina. Oh, kitty got a mouse. Oh, kitty's playing with a mouse. Good cat. Yeah, finally. Good job, kitty. What did you season the pig with? Um, we seasoned the pig with roasted garlic from here. We've seasoned the pig with herbs de Provence, salt, pepper, and an olive oil massage. And we massaged it in. But it's a nice portable cooking roasting box. You can put chickens and turkeys and everything in it. And you put the, anything on the bottom and then you end up putting the charcoal on top and then it takes half the time to roast it. But it allows it to be portable now. So we can move this thing wherever we want to be. How did we roast a pig before the box? Well, you'd go to the rental place and you would rent one of those rotisserie things. This time I did a pig in one of those, it took probably twice as long, six, seven hours. Whereas this way, it's, it, it's very fast, three and a half. The box is lined with stainless steel. The heat from the charcoal keeps the box hot. It's probably got to be at least 450, 500 oh, yeah. degrees in there. When it's going. You start with 16 pounds of charcoal and then once an hour you add another 10 pounds. So it's now 6 a.m. At 7 we add 10 pounds. At 8 we add 10 pounds. At 9 we add 10 pounds. And then 30 minutes later you flip the pig over, put the charcoal back on to get the skin crispy. Most of the cooking is already done. There is just time to crisp up all this skin and get it nice and crispy to munch on. We refilled the coals every hour and now we're going to do it again. And uh, we'll keep doing that every half hour to make sure it's really, really hot and crisping that skin up real nice. How much longer does this have to cook right now? 45 minutes probably. And then you have to let it cool down a little bit, and then you start uh, carving it. This is an official um, charcoal spreading tool. Some people call it a ring. What's in there, your barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce, first of all, has lots of love there. Uh, tomato paste, tomato sauce, garlic, onion, a little olive oil, some of our buckwheat honey from the farm. A little brown sugar, Ooh, and we also add um, a little salt paprika as well, and apple cider vinegar. Just cook it nice and slow and slow until it gets thick no, and delicious. Right now I'm working on a corn salad, which has some fresh farm corn, which was lightly roasted in the oven, with some colorful bell peppers, some onion, and a cilantro lime dressing. It's fantastic. And then we have all our fixings here, our other sauces. We have a honey mustard sauce. We have some spicy pepper relish, our beautiful little uh, corn crumpet cakes, and lots of pickled items, carrots, cucumbers, and old bread. That was a nice Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, are you going to be the troublemaker today? What do you mean today? Yeah, what's new? There he goes for the barbecue sauce. Okay, the time now is 12 o'clock and the pig's been flipped and it's still roasting. We're finishing up crisping up that pork in there. The fat's boiling up and then simmering all the way down through the meat. So we're about, we'll probably pull this out in about five minutes. Oh, 
Skin right here. Yeah, what happens to that? Crackling? Yep. Right there. Anything that's not already super crispy, which most of it is, is going on the grill. The tail was right here. This is probably what's left of it. How is it? Tail like perfect. It. Right here is the tender one. There are no shortcuts to doing it right, so we did it for probably about twice as long as the, first, as the instructions said. Wow. And we could have gone a little bit longer, but I'm pretty happy with how it is now. The stuff's falling off the bone. I mean, we're picking it clean. All by himself. All by myself. And this right here. A little brewski. So I get to go home smelling like pork to my vegetarian wife. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Take her some pork grind. Hey, right here. A little bit of pork skin, nothing wrong with that. Charlie likes it. Charlie loves it, he's English. You don't mess with the English and their pork grind. Tell us about it, Charlie. They value it over there. They don't live in St. John's Wood. St. John's Wood. Okay. North London. You don't, you don't sell pork in North London. <laughs> it's a Christian thing, right? What? I'm down to the last time. Uh, I'm not. We've got right at the Flintstones on this. Just dig in.